Hello friends and welcome to Art Smart. Today I'd like to talk to you about a book that you're going to see in many a college classroom and also in many of uh, this art fans uh, collection, the Hansen History of Art, or I'm sorry, the, the Jansen History of Art. Now, this is a older edition of it, but it's not the first, believe it or not, uh, because it looks pretty old, but actually this is like the ninth edition of this book, which has been having new editions made since the 1960s. It has been updated every several years, and a lot of copies are now floating out there, that, which are in paperback. And you'll see a lot of colleges using this book, including uh, the college that I went to, Bowie State University. Now, uh, why would we talk about a college book, which has probably a lot of information out there. Well, I think most college students uh, that take art classes are pretty familiar with this, and so you could probably skip this particular video if you'd like. Uh, but there are a lot of other people out there who might be interested in getting this book secondhand. Uh, a lot of people want to learn more about art and aren't necessarily looking to go back to school, and so they're trying to decide what they can learn from uh, books or videos or whatever that's out there that can be picked up cheaply. The good thing is about the history of art by Jansen is that it has been used by so many students that there are a lot of secondhand copies that are floating out there. And uh, this particular book that I have here is actually a second copy. Uh, the copy I had from school I resold and I kind of regretted it afterwards and so I'm glad that I found this particular edition. Uh, is this a good book for you to buy if you are trying to learn about art? I would say only if you are a very dedicated student of art and uh, really want to learn on your own without having a, uh, a strong impetus to learn very minute detail. Why do I say that? Well, first of all, uh, while there are some sections where you have quite a bit of pictures, there are a lot of sections where there isn't a whole lot of information available. You'll see this especially as you get towards the second half of the book where I guess I would assume that they think that we know a lot of examples from the Renaissance period um, to today because we see this art all the time. And so they don't have color photographs in a lot of cases and uh, there seems to just be less in the way of pictures to help you understand what's happening. Uh, there is quite a bit of wordiness going on too and sometimes it might talk over the heads of some people that may not have a really strong foundation in art. This is a somewhat difficult book to get started in if you're trying to learn about the subject and you're just not really dedicated to plowing through and learning on your own. Uh, this is a good subject book though when it comes to having a much deeper understanding of what style is. It's a great book if you're trying to have a better understanding of how one art period mixed into another or led into another. And it also gives a pretty good perspective on uh, why certain works have uh, kind of changed over time in the way that we view them. I think this book does a pretty good job of that. Uh, one thing, especially in these older editions though, that I would also caution against is some of the wording is a little bit uh, old fashioned, especially that the way that they look at uh, African cultures or what they would look at as being primitive cultures, a term which has kind of uh, gone out of favor as people have a little bit more of a PC way of looking at cultures that have uh, a lot of geometric shapes and um, have a lot of similarities to cultures from thousands of years ago. So uh, that's one minor negative about this book too. It is a great book if you're trying to really understand art and have a, a deeper understanding of style. It is not a great book if you're just getting started and you want to see famous pieces and understand why they're famous. So unless you are somebody who is a pretty dedicated art fan or a little bit further along, I would maybe check out some simpler books that are out there. And I'll give you guys some examples in uh, some upcoming videos of a little bit easier books to maybe get started on. I hope this helps you to make a decision on what book to buy secondhand, and I hope this makes you a little bit more art smart. Have a great day. Bye-bye.